So you're line marking your warehouse floor and really you need to know which products to be using. Well, there are three main products that we use in our warehouse line marking. Let me tell you exactly what they are. So the first one up for us is the single part system. The second one being the two part system and the third being the ultraviolet or UV line marking system. And of course they all have their place and their best use scenario. So let's dive in and I'll tell you a little bit about them, where would you, we would use them and of course why. So the first product, the single part system, this is by far our most popular product when it comes to line marking. We use it for pallet loading bays, hatched areas, walkways, you name it, it is our go-to product for the majority of warehouses. Now the simple reason for us doing this, of course, is the fact that it cures within around 30 minutes per coat. Now this is a very quick return to service and the majority of our customers have very, very busy warehouses. They need us to get in and get out quickly with the lines looking absolutely sublime and of course being nice and durable. Now we find the single part system works really well with that. However, what we do need to do is apply it in two coats. The first coat gets our base layer down, gets us that nice color on the ground, but to really make it pop and stand out, we go for a second coat on top of it. It also gives us that nice smooth rolled finish so you don't see any other sort of brush strokes or anything else on it. It's a really nice even line. Now we always coat the lines with a matte sealer after we finish painting. Now the idea behind this, of course, is we're looking to protect and preserve the color of your line. Typically, if you're running forklifts and pallet trucks, you're gonna get a bit of oil and grease etc on the lines and they can get dirty very very quickly. By having that matte sealer it allows us to clean the line really really efficiently restoring it back to its original color. Now of course as I've mentioned it is a very fast curing product the single part system however it does have a few drawbacks. It is not quite as durable as the two part system and not quite again as durable as the UV system however it is perfectly good for most warehouse environments. The areas it's not so good for though unfortunately are food production environments and that's because the paint contains an awful lot of solvent. Now the solvent has a benefit in that it allows the paint to cure very very quickly but of course the drawback is the smell. Typically if we're installing a single part system like this we need to open the roller shutter doors, let some free airflow come through the building and it just gets rid of that sort of taint and smell while we're installing it. Now the smell does dissipate within around an hour or so but it is quite strong while we're installing it. So that's the main drawback of the single part system. Now the two part system is actually less popular for us. Now the simple reason behind the two part system not being as popular is simply down to the curing time. Now it is more durable than a single part system of course, however the main drawbacks of this are twofold. One, the curing time is between two and 24 hours depending on the product, the temperature, and of course the relative humidity. For a really, really high-end two-part system, you could see curing times of around two hours, which is very comparable to the single-part system that's roughly half an hour per coat with two coats giving us a full hour for curing. However, the drawback here is the price point. It is typically five times more expensive to buy a two-part system that dries within two hours compared to a single part system that dries within half an hour. Now, like any product range, there are cheaper versions of a two part system and they go from sort of two to 18 to 24 hours, depending on which product you use. So for a mid range product, you can expect between 18 and two hours for full cure. And for a lower range product, where you're gonna be saving a bit of money, you're also gonna be waiting between 18 and 24 hours. Now for the majority of our customers, waiting 18 to 24 hours before they can cross the lines simply isn't possible. Most people need us in and out very quickly. They need to be able to cross those lines and traffic them as fast as possible to get their stock moving back out of the warehouse. So unless you have a shutdown period where you can leave the lines in the warehouse for sort of 18 to 24 hours, I would normally not recommend this as our go-to product. Now, third of course is my favorite product. This is the UV or ultraviolet product. Now, there is a little bit of misinformation about ultraviolet being an instant cure. And anybody that tells you it's instant cure is kind of leading you down the garden path a little bit. It's only instant cure at the point the UV lamp passes over it. Until that point, it is very much a wet product like any other paint. So how does UV work? Well, there are two types of UV. You can go for a hybrid UV or a full UV. A full UV means you're using a UV paint for every layer. And typically it's built up in five or six layers. Now this is extremely expensive. And while it does cure on every single layer as you're installing it, you have to paint the whole floor, 
run the machine back and forward over it to cure it, and then repaint it five or six times. It is a very drawn out process and extremely expensive. I would say we've only ever installed this once, and it's not my preferred way to install any lines. I don't think you'll get any benefit from using that. However, the hybrid method is extremely good. For this process, we typically apply a water-based product, again, in two coats, much like our single part system, and then we coat it in a UV sealer. The UV sealer is baked onto the ground, creating a super durable line. And this is by far the most durable product out there. Now the UV system is a little bit cheaper than a typical high-end two-part system. By the time you take into consideration all the work, however, it can add up pretty quickly. Now a UV system is still very, very fast to cure but we use a water-based product as the base coat. And again, we do two coats of this to get a really nice and even consistent coloration along the whole length of the line. So a water-based paint typically takes an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the temperature and the relative humidity, which is three times longer than perhaps a silver-based system and a little bit less, maybe half an hour less than a really high-end two-part system. But of course, we're gonna do two coats of this to get that nice coloration, and then we're gonna apply the UV sealer. Now, the UV sealer, as soon as it's painted on, can be passed over with the UV light and then trafficked immediately. At that point, it is instant cure. But bear in mind, you've also gotta get two coats of base coat down before you can apply that UV sealer. So when it comes down to which product you should be using in your warehouse, if you need a really fast return to service, single part system will get you there. And it is still pretty durable. We use it in the majority of our warehouses. If you need something that is super durable and you can afford three, four hours for it to cure, a UV system is by far the way to go. It is in fact the most durable product that we have ever used and it will last for years. If however you have a long shutdown period coming up, you could opt for a two part 18 to 24 hour curing product. It'll give you fantastic durability. It will look fantastic. And of course it's at a good price point compared to both other products as well. So hopefully that covers everything you'd need to know around warehouse line marking. Of course, if you need any more help, you can ask us online at line-mark.com. We'll be more than happy to help you guys out and we'll see you guys in the next video.